Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about infinite limits. So all the limits that we talked about so far, they either didn't exist or they were just simple uh, finite numbers, like 2, 3, negative 5, etc, etc. Um, but you could also have infinite limits. So that'll happen if you've got a function like here, uh, y equals f of x. Notice we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 6. So if you've got a vertical asymptote, you're probably going to have some infinite limits there. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and see what's happening here. So we'll do a left-hand limit. Uh, limit as x goes to 6 from the left of f of x equals what? Well, it's a left-hand limit, so we cover up the right side of x equals 6. Okay, whatever's happening on the right, we just don't care about it. So we're just going to look, uh, what happens if we come into 6 from the left? Well, if we come in from the left, um, what's happening to the y values? They get larger and larger and larger, and they just keep going up, and they increase, and they never stop increasing. Okay, as x comes into 6 from the left, the y values just increase without bound. So they're just shooting off to positive infinity. So the answer here then is plus infinity. Is the plus sign necessary? Nah, not really, no. But it's good to have, uh, just to be clear. Alright, so that's if we come into 6 from the left. What if we come in from the right? Well then, limit as x approaches 6 from the right of f of x equals what? Well, now we're coming in from the right, so we're going to cover up the left. We don't care what's happening on the left. Okay? So if we come into x equals 6 from the right, where are the y values going? Well, actually, they're going to the same place. Right? They're shooting up to positive infinity. So this is also positive infinity. All right. Now notice uh, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit, uh, they both equal positive infinity here. So limit as x approaches 6 of f of x. So this here is the two-sided limit now. Okay, no minus sign, no plus sign. This is the two-sided limit. Uh, that also equals positive infinity. Okay, because both the left and the right-hand limit equal positive infinity. All right, so that's one example. So let's take a look at another one over here. Here we have a function y equals g of x, uh, and now we have a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. So vertical asymptote, we're probably going to have infinite limits. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Here's x equals 5, so let's go ahead and take a look at limits as x approaches 5 from the left or from the right. So limits as x approaches 5 from the left of g of x equals what? Well, cover up the right side of 5. Okay, we don't care what's happening on the right because it's a left-hand limit. So um, if we come into x equals 5 from the left, what's happening? Where are the y values going? they're going down, 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 they keep decreasing without bound. So they're going all the way down, they never stop. So this means they're going all the way down to negative infinity. So this is negative infinity. Okay, if your y values decrease without bound, so to speak, if they just keep decreasing and never stop decreasing, um, then that's negative infinity there. All right, now what if we come into 5 from the right? So that's going to be uh, limits as x approaches 5 from the right of g of x equals what? Well, now we're doing a right-hand limit, so we're coming in from the right side, so cover up the left. We don't care about that. If we come in from the right uh, to x equals 5, where are the y values going? Well, we're going to follow along the blue curve here, uh, up, 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 and the y values just keep going all the way up, and they never stop. So that's positive infinity. So as we come into x equals 5 from the right, uh, the y values just go all the way up to positive infinity. All right, so left-hand limit is negative infinity, right-hand limit is positive infinity. What does that mean about the two-sided limit? Well, the two-sided limit uh, doesn't exist, right? So this uh, does not exist. So the limit as x goes to 5 from the left of g of x is negative infinity. The limit as x goes to 5 from the right of g of x is positive infinity. Those are not the same thing, so the two-sided limit uh, as x approaches 5 of g of x does not exist. All right, well, let's take a look at one more example. So here's a goofy looking function, y equals h of x. Uh, vertical asymptote at x equals negative 4, so we're probably going to have an infinite limit here, and we do. All right, so let's go ahead and um, find out what's happening. So take a limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left of h of x equals what? Well, if we're just approaching uh, from the left, we don't care what's happening on the right. Okay, cover up the right side, we don't care what's happening. We're coming into negative 4 from the left, so x is going into negative 4 from the left, from the left, from the left. What's happening to the y values? 
Well, they're getting closer and closer to what? To negative 3. So this is negative 3. All right. Now, what about the right-hand limit? Limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right of h of x equals what? Well, here, now we cover up the left. We don't care what's happening on the left, okay? Just look at the right side. So as x comes into negative 4 from the right, where are the y values going? Well, they're shooting off upwards to positive infinity. Positive infinity. Okay, so what about the two-sided limit? Well, the left-hand limit uh, is negative 3. The right-hand limit is positive infinity. So the two-sided limit, you guessed it, does not exist.